All right, guys, let's see what we have here today. The suspect, yes, seven kills, four assists, 13 deaths, uh, 86 damage around, and an 85% headshot percentage. It's a good percentage. Seems to note this guy's pushing from lower B tunnels. It looks like he just set up for it. Looks like he's kind of aiming on, yeah, he's definitely sees that guy on cat through the box. Gonna make his way out here. Uh, it looks like his team was just losing really bad and he's doing whatever it takes to try to bring them back. Even if that requires him using wall hacks. I can see why they're losing really bad. Alright, he's able to take that guy out. And there is a guy in the middle. He comes out and knows exactly where he's at. Guy back of sight at B. It's the last guy. Is he going to try to contest him or is he going to tell his team to go to the other site? Bomb is going long A. He throws a flashbang, he checks window again, checks door, guy's creeping around towards the door. Ooh, he almost connected with that, and he's able to take him down. Well, maybe he has a chance to bring it back now that he has this unfair advantage with him. He's gonna hop through the smoke because he probably doesn't even see it. No, he might see it. <laughs> but uh, we haven't really seen him try to shoot through smokes yet. He boosts a guy in middle for some reason. And he's confused. Either way, he's gonna make his way over towards long. There's a guy pushed up. Two of them there, actually. He's a little bit scared to peek out on them. Even with the wall hacks, he's very outclassed here, it seems. He's able to take one guy down at doors. One guy has pushed middle. Guy's got very low health. Takes a shot at him through the smoke. Leaves one guy left at long A. But his team is going long. Surely he had called that, but that's okay. His team actually was able to take him down. He's going to make his way up cat. Looks like a few of them are making their way long. All of them making their way long. He's going to rotate back around and watch long with his teammates. He's able to help take one guy out. Doesn't really... There he connects with a little bit of damage on the second guy. Just kind of spamming his USP, hoping for the best. Aiming is a little bit important with some of these guns. Takes a couple shots at this guy as he jumps into the pit. Sees his head. And can he connect? No, he really just can't aim. Like, it's what it comes down to with this guy. Unless he's aiming on the guy straight through the wall when he comes out, he seems to have very little chance on actually getting onto the target with his crosshair. Either way, he's gonna make his way over here towards mid. Bunch of guys waiting outside of long. Flash goes off. He sees this guy to his left, his teammate's able to kill him. Pulls out a scout, guy comes up from pit, he isn't able to connect, and he goes down again. Part of me is wondering if he's turned off the walls because he was blatantly walling there for a while. He's gonna make his way back over towards the middle. Doesn't see anyone there. Come back towards long. Ooh, damn. That was nice. One more guy in here. Ooh, he takes him out too. This guy didn't seem to know he was coming up middle even though his teammate got taken out. Probably should have called it for him. Leaves one guy left over at the B site. And he's going to make his way over here towards middle. The guy's pushing in. He hits him with one shot. He tries to aim on him and tries to flick to him. He just can't get on the guy. Not sure what it is, but he just has a problem with actually putting his crosshair on people. He's gonna make his way back over here towards the middle. And creep right up. He knows that there's no one watching this. Why would he be scared of anything? Okay, he's getting close to them. Check that left corner. He does not check behind the door. He's not gonna check fit. Comes out on the guy. 
Be able to take down two of them at long. That leaves one guy left in sight with a auto sniper. He's peeking. And he's able to connect with the headshot. Make his way back over here towards Long. So it looks like he's going up Cat again. I think he's just going to push middle again. Good chance because terrorists seem to be hitting Long again with the exception of one guy out in mid. Will he know that this guy's here? He seems to. He doesn't just push straight out like he did the other kind times before. He gets that first headshot. Now he's creeping up Long again. There are four guys here. One guy is watching the flank. Suspect's gonna come. Ooh, he's a little bit scared of those doors. He's gonna sit here and wait a minute. Look towards spawn. Throws a nade in there. Does quite a bit of damage. They're able to shoot his teammate for a bit. He's holding. He knows that they're in there because he can hear them, of course. And he's trying to spam them. But he doesn't actually connect. Not exactly sure what he's thinking right now. There he goes, he got him through the door. And he's spamming it again. Has he turned off the wall? Is the question, or is he just hiding it now? And he's able to take the guy out as he jumps into pit. He did play that round a bit more cautiously than usual. He is bringing his team back too, honestly. He's got a 71% headshot percentage on this half, 76 on the other half. There's a guy in mid. It felt like he knew he was coming, he just kind of positioned himself and waited for the guy to push into his crosshair. Now he's going to creep up here again. There's a guy to the left. He's going to throw a nade in. The guy peeks out. And he's able to take him down. Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. But I know what I think. Griefing, insufficient. Other external assistance, insufficient. Aim assistance, he could use some because his aim was all over the place. But no, he wasn't, he wasn't aimbotting or anything like that. And vision assistance, I think that's evident. Uh, to me, it was very blatant, especially at the beginning. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.